Hi, my name is Carl Chung, and I am a CPA judge. Um, I am qualified to judge regional, also pro qualifier, so uh, national. And back then, we have multiple levels, and I was also qualified to judge. Um, it's been a great journey for the past 10 years, an honor to be judging for the CPA. And uh, I definitely love what I do. And uh, today, we're going to see what Carlos can show us of all his hard work and getting ready for the C NPC national. I uh, creep this Instagram. So um, I know what's his potential and what, how far he came from since the beginning. And that's always important that when you're helping somebody, you want to see how far they came and what are some of the key points that they brought up and see if there's any weak point that's still sustaining that they need to be aware of. Breathe. All of it, all of it, harder, harder. There. Right there. Just this. It gets you the attention of his back's complete. The upper one, if you, you have to remember that most people, they try and flex up here. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you flex down here, this automatically flexes. So. Yeah, I actually feel that like the tension's a little down there, but up here is like, very like, relaxed. Like, yeah. Where usually I'm like, I'm like this, trying to hold this up. Exactly. And that only causes your traps to keep building up and it's getting higher and you're only going to get more stiff and strong, stronger up there but nothing's happening down here. Whereas if you focus just down here, the upper will show anyway, because there's so much mass to it. Big breath. Yes. Yes. Completion. Now, when you're doing your quarter turn, so when you quarter turn to the right, spend a little bit more time showing your backside to the judges and then turn back over. There you go. Yes. Make it into, so then it's like you're transitioning going. Yes. So you're giving a preview because you work for that back. So you might as well show it up. Okay. Good. Are you sure glutes are flexed at that point? Yeah, there you go. Good. Push the hips slightly back. Because what happens is that when you're standing very straight, normal, yeah. you can only breathe out so much because you got so much mass. You can only breathe out so much to push the pudge in. So with all that mass, instead of trying to suck it in, but only the mid and up is going to get sucked in. Yeah. In order to finish that lower half, to make it slim and flat, you want to push the glutes out slight, like hip back slightly. That way it's curved in and your chest is further out. There you go. Now it's, you see how here? Is it easier to stand? Yes. Whereas straighten out again? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. You're fighting, you're, you're like. Can't hold it. And imagine you have to go round and round and round. So this way, when you're here, when you're back, you can just, as long as you take small breath, you're good. But if you're here, you're constantly going Because <laughs> trying to breathe in, get enough oxygen, but at the same time, you're trying to push it in. So from a side view of a judge, we're looking at it, we're like, well, this guy's not controlling his five you know, breathing. Five glute too. Yeah. So once yeah. you back, you squeeze your glutes, so now you have full control. But when you're letting it to the front this way, then it's... Don't move forward, yeah. As long as the hip sits back, how does it feel? It's easy, right? It's just sitting back and just be like breathing. Yeah. Okay. So these are the only things I have to correct on the quarter turns. Now let's go through your mandatories. Front double bicep. Good. From your previous photo I've seen all these years is that you grew a lot. So now, when you're posing, you're still kind of posing like you're not realizing how big you are. So instead of looking at yourself, if you look at yourself, it's like one big mass. So how can I make this big mass to form some shape? So now, you gotta open everything towards the walls. So how on all half of your limbs, focus when you open, not just pumping, like fluffing it out. You got enough depth, don't worry about that. But now you need to open up everything 
to this side of the wall, that side of the wall, instead of like this, open, push your lats to the wall, push your lats to the walls. Let's open up and get more shape, get wider than you ever think. That's it. Good. Oh yeah. Now, to the walls, to the walls, to the walls. Okay. It's a little, it's a little different than I got back. I've yeah. always been so used to like... Yeah, that's because you're trying to make up for the mass that you didn't have before. But now you built in, you fill so much gap, you don't want to enclose so much everything with the gap because then you're just going to look like one big block. Now you, got, you want to utilize the muscle you built and show, extend it, Should open. I my, my foot out more so I you can have it this way, or even if you have it straight, as long as up to mid thigh, you're touching, you're good. You... That's it. A little bit crank back. There you go. Is that uncomfortable when you crank back? Yeah. You, you see, so you have to work on that mobility because you see the lighting, go back forward. No, go back. Yeah. Look at the lighting yeah. right here. The lighting, it's your friend. The stage light, it's gonna be right above you. You gotta build the light point and you gotta build the shadow points. That's what's gonna make you look vascular, bigger, more shapely. If you, certain ways, if you do this, then it's all black over here. It's all dark, dark spot. Then it's just gonna look like a big blob of mass again. Use the lighting. Again, even when you come up, okay, when you come up this way, twist your tricep forward. Show your tricep, so that way you see the line separations too. There you go. Use the light. There you go. Just that one degree of different, and look how everything opened up. Yeah. And you see the shadow. So shoot for width, and shoot for all the, create all the shadow points. You're bigger than before. So now open, shoot for the walls. That's it. Good. Exactly. Your hands slide so much that you, sh you shrunk in because you're trying to get so muscular. Again, you're trying to make up for the mass you didn't have. Now you built up all this mass. Now, Expand everything as max as possible. The name of like you know the post side chest. So up here is very mostly important primary. Yeah. Secondary obviously is here. Yeah. So that's why like from here, if you're trying to keep the side in, you should be breathing out as you're pulling. Don't breathe out after you're here because then your muscles are fixed and then you're trying to go. <laughs> so it's hard. It's trying to go from here going. <sighs> breathe it all out then your skin will tighten. Don't try to flex it, but just breathe it. And then tighten the skin. Good. Lift the rib cage. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Just like any pose, start breathing out, especially twisting, start breathing out the minute you can side tricep. Some people go like this and they go no. This is my worst pose. Yeah. Everybody, a lot of people, because what happened too is that as you pull, if you've got full air, it's bubble gut. So it might as well be here, hide it, and then be like, <sighs> Again, so now we have a punch here. What are you going to do? That's it. And you can even pull the shoulder back. I don't know how, how your flexibility is. You can pull the shoulder back a little bit just so that you can pull the skin here a little tighter. Breathe it out, breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, oh, oh. Better, better. Before you're so restrictive because the shoulder was over here, so you're bunched up everything. Now, as you breathe out, everything is there. Yeah. I just feel like, should I be locking out on it? Like, I feel like I, that's like the flexibility issue I have is that. If, if, you, if you can't lock it out when you're touching, I suggest you keep it curled first, then after, right before they said turn, like, you know, or right before they say turn or something, or next pose, straighten it, let go. Okay. From here, shh, 
and then after before the next pose and then they call face to the rear and then that's when you yeah turn your right foot out towards me more that's it that's to even out the glutes because when both sides should face the same angle good now again same thing forget everything up here focus down here so once you're back from here when you come up before you even the arm comes down same time not set and then that's just practice here then you see everything comes alive like a show that's it remember pivot point is here judge's eyes down towards the ground and then just once you breathe out all this will flex it's all about here look at that that's the completion we're looking for good Last spread. Okay. Oh, that was yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You're allowed. You're allowed. <laughs> Good. So same thing now. You grew so much. And one of the things that like, you know, to, when you're getting set up like this, not one of my favorite is that when people lean forward because you're washed out. The lighting above you, look at the lighting. If I'm doing this, it's so bright. But as soon as, if you do this, like a seated, but if you do it like a seated row, instead, that will show striations over here. And then. So stay right? Yeah. Okay. You, want, you don't want to get washed out. Just like a seated rule. That's it. Why, why, why? Good. One more time, except I want this thumb to stay back as far as possible because I know you can open up even further. Lock. Just lats, just lats. That's it. And then breathe out. Okay. Good. So you have to also practice a little bit where when you're opening your lats, where your thumb is, it's where you curve back on don't curve back don't pivot from here pivot from where you're where we've been trying to show here and then let the lat sit right in here if this doesn't cramp then you're not doing it right i want you to feel like you're doing deadlift like this cramps i want that back to fully complete up there everything is fine it's perfect Stop right there. Pivot here. Right there. Right there. There you go. You oh, now open it back up the lats. Better. Okay. Because everyone wanna open, open, open. It's like everyone just wanna be like open, 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 right? And then there's nothing down there until you sit. Has it feel like you're deadlifting? You're deadlifting and it's cramps down here. Gotta send me this video because I'm a, it's game tape. I'm gonna go over it. <laughs> I'm gonna mark yeah. it up with the red highlighter. Yeah. Cause this section, everything is good. Yeah. Just this section, yeah. I want you to have more control. Yeah. Pay less attention up here. Yeah, this is Alright. This stays. Lock. Open, 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 open. Nope, keep that open. So, sit here. Breathe out and just sit. Open more. Yeah. I feel like I lose it a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. You have to get used to it yeah. and, and feel that it's here that's bending. Yeah. Because if you're open, 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 you got lats, but then here, once again, I want to see that completion. I don't want to have give them the judges see, have any excuses like, yeah, I see a lot up there, but what happened midway? Because then you're going to have striated glutes, everything. But then what happened in that section? There's nothing happening. There's no action. So. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's a, I nail it. Okay. Now, uh, abs and thighs. Okay. 
you got a lot of shape down here so relax your hand put it back up instead of don't press so hard this is just to come up okay now let's shoot for the shape keep it up okay let's shoot the shape one don't have to open up too much here but most importantly let me see open up your lats to the front more more there you go. and then this hand don't put it on your head just try to go reach here just reaching just reaching there you go do you know why because i want to see this skin stretch so put it back up here watch look at that there's too much shadow now the deeper you go down your back it's just putting your hand there you're not even pressing this is just to stretch the skin and look at this shape now open the lats like a like a cobra like that's all i got bro i'm sorry no it's okay no, but that's the whole point is to max out what you have. Yeah. That's the whole point, right? Like when you're here, when you're reaching on top of your head, it's too straight. But meanwhile, I'm seeing big shape here. Yeah. So I want to see everything the same. Yeah, just reach back. There, look at that. See the lighting also? Good. And then just breathe out. Breathe, 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 breathe. Look at that and everything just appears so now look at the shape yeah. this is the different that's what we need that's what being symmetrical is is that a lot of people yeah. other than conditioning oh is it too dry on the bottom but not enough on the top yeah. or you know but then shape it's also like when you have such good rounded legs but then up here it's so straight that yeah, it's I'll not being symmetrical yeah yeah and people always right it's not fighting it's just just cool. lean it there and just care more about what are you showing what is the intention of it yeah. is to pull the skin up here everything is tight and all the vascularity is going to come out and even the shape it's just reaching down there you go there you go i do see more width when i put my hands like back more yeah. tighter and everything yeah even like here shows more yeah and it's easier because you don't have to flex as hard to try to get these details because yeah because yeah, yeah. the skin it's utilizing this arm it's pulling the skin here pulling the skin here and pulling the skin here yeah so it makes everything a lot easier just like this just a stretch and then yeah just breathe yeah and then last one most muscular with your mask I don't recommend this as the first most muscular because then if a guy comes up beside you all of a sudden like you know like let's say like you know he does this he'll be a lot wider most muscular you don't want to get outside this I mean you, you can do like what you just did right now last when you transition to it first yeah as wide as freaky as possible you can go into here yeah and then the last one then you can come back up to here don't do that one as the first one because then you're going to lose out on it. If right. a guy comes up to you, you got to sort of like predict your battle where the guy is trying to outsize you. He's trying to get more freaky than you. And if you do a post like this back here and he's going jumping to the judges like this, his judge's eyes naturally is going to jump towards him. So which one do you suggest more hands on hip or just crab first? Crab first. There you go. Pop those lats. Good. And then, then you can come back up here. And then to finish off, even when they say thank you, gentlemen, and you can still pose one more. Yeah. That's not fair to you yet. So that's why you have to step one leg closer, okay. draw their eyes to your legs first, like, holy crap. And then the upper body comes to finish the job. Yeah. Then after it's going back, like showing the width, the freakiness of the whole width. And then here, you're showing off the vascularity. And that's why this one never goes first, because if the guy next to you... Never knew that. I always did this one first. Yeah. So, yeah. strategy. That is, it's like yeah. war. <laughs> exactly, man. You're like going to battle. So. Thank you. All right, man. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. Anytime, man. My really pleasure. That. Yes, sir. My pleasure. Man. Thank you. Send this to me. This is game tape. We're gonna go over it. We're gonna take it to nationals. So watch out. <laughs>